In this video, we're going to talk about unsigned integer multiplier. So we're going to focus on the multiplier of uh, two bits, m, let's call the first bit m, multiply with q. So in this tutorial, we're going to stick to up the m has the bit length of 3 and the q has bit length of 2. So for example, in this scenario, if m, all the bits of m are, are high, so the maximum number that we're going to have for this is 2, 3, minus 1, which is 7. So here we're going to have the f max value 7 times 2. So the maximum number of 2 minus 1, it is 3. So here we're going to have 3 bits, 3, the value of 3. So the answer of this should be 7, so it is 7 times 3, which is 21. So how are we going to design our combinational design using a ripple carrier adder? that we have designed on the previous video with, a, with an additional uh, a logic. So let's try to do it by ourselves, this uh, uh, m times q. For example, we have m is 7, so this is m, and we multiply it with q, which is 3, which is two, three years. So the way we're gonna do it, if you do like a normal multiplication, what we'll do is one times one in bits. So you're gonna have one, one, one times one is one. And then one times one, you have one, one, and one. And then you, you need two, sum this so you will have 1 plus 0 so you can see here is going to be 0 it is 1 and then 1 plus 1 bit it is 2 so you have 0 carry 1 so you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 the, the other carry 1 so you have 3 so it is 1 and then you have a carry one, so it's two. So you have zero, one, which this is equal to 21. You have one plus four plus this one is like 16. So it is 21. So how will you design this one? into a combinational design using a ripple carrier adder. We can see that we need here, this addition here, we can say this one is our RCA, which is a ripple carrier adder. And then we can use AND gate for the multiplication. So we can insert our sketch here and uh, we're going to connect this so we can give a name this one is you can call this q0 the first bit of q0 and we can connect to this one and up here we can have the first bit for m and we can connect here so as we see here when we did addition, the first, this plus zero, it is this first product. So we can just move it down here 
and we can call this our first product p0 and then we can do a next uh, operation which is q0 and then with m1 the second bit so we can move here to our ripple carrier adder so because it, it need to be summed uh, we need to write our last bit for the m which is m2 which is this one here and then the answer of this is this one so we need to sum it here too so we can call this uh, uh, this summation here for the first y and this one here we need to write our second bit for the q and connect it here and our first m zero so we need to do the same operation again for this so this is m m0 and then we need to do for m1 and m2 and then all of this need to be connected to q1 And then we need to connect it to the ripple carrier adder because we need to sum all of it. We can call this operation uh, AX. So as we see here, here we sum X is two. So for example, this is Y and x so we plus y and x so this is the same here we need to do the same y plus x but we see here we have a, another bit we need to put a zero on this input bit so this ripple carry adder when you specify the parameters this ripple carry adder must be the length of three bits so the ripple carry adder must be the length of three bit. So we sum three bits, three plus three bits. The output of this it need to be the product of P1 P2 and p3 and lastly so we have carry out it it is the last bit bit 4 so here we have a carry out bit and the carry in you need to set as zero. A zero bit. The product P it has a length because we can see here we have a length of five bits. So we can see the product, the answer, it is equal to M plus Q. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how we're going to implement this sketch and this the thinking of designing the integer multiplier design into a very local code.